Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Today we're going to be doing the next five stages of the Diagostini Collectibles release, a Build the Ford GT. I am loving this build and look, I've matched the uh, light colour with the colour of the car. How cool is that? Now, something else that's really cool is uh, in today's pack, we did get a free gift. I mean, check this out. Shall I take it out of the box? Of course, I'm going to take it out of the box. It just slides out like that. And that's looking brilliant. The Ford Mark II, number two, the winner of Le Mans, 1966. Little die cast there, which is a free gift. That's brilliant. Not sure where I'm going to put that yet, but uh, I will find a place for that. We'll put that carefully back in the box again. I, I want to keep that safe, so uh, all cool. Now, as you know, we have been building the interior. This is what that's looking like. We are going to be adding on to that today. So uh, that's why I've only got this stage up at the moment. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Diagostini Collectibles website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But without further ado, let's start with stage 33. Let's get cracking. So again, every stage comes with its own magazine and this is what the magazine looks like. Just a quick flick through for you. Everything about rally cars there, GT cars. Look, we've even got a uh, Ford RS2000 there as well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna do the right side frame braces. That's what we've got in stage 33. So as you can see, we need the interior. We're going to put these braces in place. So by the end, it looks just like that. Now with these braces, we've got five which look exactly the same. And this one's slightly different. It's slightly got a sort of nick out of this side here. So I want this one first. Bring the car over, or the interior, turn this upside down. Now this is going to go next to the R, that you might be able to just see there, into that position. So... It's going to go in this way with the tab at the bottom fitting in that hole fitting over the top just like that it's held in with an fp02 screw so as you can see putting that in there that's perfect and i've got five more to put in here one two three four five so let's get these all in now these braces look like they are reinforcements not quite sure what we're reinforcing. Uh, I'm guessing without these braces, when the body works on, you'll be able to push down on the floor pan and bend it, bend it, which obviously you don't want to do. But it's pretty easy to see where we're putting these in as I go along there. I've got another three to put in. There's actually six in total, including the one that I put in first, which had the different shape. This one here, I'm putting the wire from the speaker underneath it. It hasn't been connected yet. As you see, the plug is still free there. So if I need to thread it back out, I can do that. I will keep these coming out in this section here, because I'm guessing this is probably where the uh, circuit board's going to go when we get that. I do believe that circuit board might actually be in this pack as well. So that's the last screw going in. All of those brackets are now in place and that's all there is to do in that stage. Stage 34 here. I'm gonna slowly flick through this one as well so you can see the magazine. And there it is. There's the circuit board as if by magic. So it looks like we've got a switch to put in as well. And we've got a bracket for the switch. Uh, we're going to be putting the circuit board in place. And it looks like we're putting the switch in as well. And then wiring what we have already connected to the car to that circuit board. So it looks like this. So bringing over the car again, it's not too hard to see where the circuit board's going to go. It's actually going to go this way around. So I'm putting it in here. I'm going to move these wires that i got here. And there's two holes just at the top that this is going to lay into like that to keep it into place. And I'm going to screw that down with some FP01 screws. Now, always with circuit boards, just make them hand tight. If you make them tight and crack that board, you're going to have a bad time. That's the second screw there. 
and that's now held that circuit board into place. Now the switch here, I'm gonna put into this bracket here, which does mean feeding the plug end through this here, so the switch will come out the other side. And fit in that little cavity there like that. I've just moved this over because the switch is just gonna go into the point just there. I can drop that into place with the bracket. And it's gonna be secured in with FPO2 screws. And I'll be putting one of these each side. Now we're gonna be starting to attach all of this to the circuit board. So for the switch, I'm gonna actually just put this under the brackets here, behind the speaker. Might help if I uh, have my tweezers here. And all of these cables that we've got at the moment are numbered. We're just gonna be putting these into the corresponding number of the board here. So hopefully you can see on the top camera, speakers in this side and the other two are just in this side here. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 35, again, this is the magazine. And we got the um, cables, lots of cables to put in here. And we're gonna be plugging these into the circuit board that we've just made. Once they're all into position, they don't want me to tidy these, they just want these coming out here. So should be an easy stage, this one. And as you can see, whole pack of cables. So it's just a case of checking the cable number. This one's number seven. Bringing over the car and plugging them into the corresponding plugs. Let's speed this up. So that's those in. Now we've got two cables coming from the front as well, which I'm just gonna reach over and plug these in. Now these are labeled one and two. So number one is at the very top here, which I'm gonna plug in. And number two is in the last plug that we've got on this side. And there we go. They're all in position and that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 36, again, have a flick through. We've got the brackets for the left frame. We did this right at the start, so we should be a dab hand of putting these in. Again, the one that we need that's slightly different is in its own little compartment in here. So I'm gonna be putting that one in first and then the other five I'll put in afterwards. Bring this side of the car around. And once again, the funny shaped one is gonna go right on this end here. Just like that. And it's held in once again with FP02 screws. So that's that one in. And I've got five more to put in now. Just like last time. In position here and then screw down the top. So I'll get all these in and we'll have a look how that looks. And as you can see, that's that side completely in, and that's all there is to do in that stage. Which means the final stage of this pack, stage 37, no idea what we're doing, but I have got a big piece in the uh, uh, pack there, as you can see, is the forward chassis, looking like that. Uh, it doesn't look like we're actually doing anything with that, so let's have a look how that looks. I will take it out the pack on account that uh, we're not actually doing anything with it, but it is a big chunk of metal looking like that. Now I've got my fingerprint on it, but yeah, that's all there is to do in that stage. And funny enough, 
that was quite a quick pack. There wasn't really much to do in that pack. Uh, it started like this when we did this build, not much to do. Then there was loads to do. Now there's not much to do as well, but I'm glad there's five stages coming in each pack so we can put them together. But uh, this is what that's looking like. We've been working on this whole section and now we've got lots of electrics in there. Haven't even attempted to do any wire tidied on that yet, but uh, on account I don't know <laughs> they're going into the vehicle. If you want to get this for yourself, once again, I have put a link in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one, but I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe, and I really hope you have a great weekend. Take care.